Well, um, on uh, November 23rd, um, Chinese authorities announced that they were mapping for the first time an air defense identification zone. Now, air defense identification zones are not illegal, are not against international practice. In fact, there's quite a number of countries worldwide that have zones, including some of China's neighbors, South Korea, Japan. So where is the main issue? What is the main problem? Well, um, it is on two different main levels. From the point of view of procedures, um, what the Chinese are asking is beyond the borders of international standard uh, practice. They're asking every aircraft flying into this uh, uh, air defense zone to provide the flight plans and remaining on standby in providing communication uh, about their movements, which is something that in other air defense identification zones is, is only applied to aircraft that are bound to the country in which they are flying. So in this respect, there is a different sort of uh, practice that has been adopted by the Chinese. And what would be the possible solution? Well, the current situation is one in which what we're seeing unfolding is a political game. A game in which the maritime and air spaces of this China Sea are used as uh, an arena where the balance between the two uh, uh, most important regional actors, Japan and China, are redefining their relationship. As such, um, the main long-term solution will have to find its place in the realm of politics. But what do we do in the meantime? In the meantime, there's some practical steps that should be taken in order to avoid inadvertent escalation. In this respect, both in terms of a behavior at sea as well as behavior in the air, the two countries should try to have uh, um, um, hold high level meetings to discuss mechanisms of communication the establishment of hotlines, as well as start thinking about uh, the elements that bring them together. The importance of using the maritime and air spaces and therefore considering measures that will make safer to do so, including uh, activities concerning search and rescue operations, as well as the coordination of flight paths.